Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, where you're watching this, when you're watching this, when you're watching this. My name is Elena. I'm a homeschooling mama to three kiddos and here on the channel we talk about everything from homeschooling, homemaking, all the things in between. We're going to ignore the mess. We're going to do our best to ignore the lack of background area. We'll get there someday. Today we're going to talk about goals. Um, more specifically our February goals. On the channel I like to set monthly goals. Let's dive in. I'm going to check on my kids. I'm sure you can hear them in the background. They're supposed to be getting dressed. It's that mom life. For my goals, I like to set them into different categories. If you're new here, let me just briefly run over the categories that I typically set goals in. So it is my faith, fitness, and fitness will encompass both physical and mental wellness type things. My finances, um, content creating and homeschooling during our homeschooling months. So in the summer, we might get a little bit lighter goals, but throughout the year, we try to set a general um, goal in each of those areas. I like to typically start with my faith goals. Sometimes they can be really lighthearted and fluid. If you caught my overall 2023 goals, I talked a lot about how I want to have more fluid goals this year, just because um, one, it was hard for me to kind of imagine what the future is looking like and what we have, um, which is really hard for me to focus in on what the future was. I'm gonna pause. I'm sure you heard my heater kick on. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> so for my faith goals this month, I'm going to just concentrate on completing my Bible study fellowship. I do an online Bible study I joined this year. It's called Bible study fellowship. I will link it down below. They have both in person and online studies that you can do. I chose to do the online study because there's not an in-person group that meets that's close to me that would make it um, doable. So this year we are going through kingdom, what they're calling kingdom divided. There are 30 lessons and we are about halfway through already, but you can jo join in as long as there's a group available at any time and just jump right in where you are. This year, I think especially um, they're doing a lot of Old Testament, uh, the smaller books in the Old Testament. So you can really just jump right in at any time, but that's just a quick recap of kind of how it runs. It is a group type study, but there is daily things that you'll do, answer questions, do readings, things like that. So it's kind of a um, really like in-depth study that you get to do into these books. And I just want to make sure that I'm staying on top of that and that I am diving into it. I want to say daily, but honestly, I know the weekends are a little bit tougher for me to get into it. So I just want to make sure that I'm staying on top of the questions and the lecture notes and the, the reading for it. That's my main concentration for the month of February is to be sure that I'm diving in to the Bible study. It is really good. I really am so thankful for the group that I have and I'm a part of online because it's just been so great for me. So I'm incredibly grateful for that. So I'm going to keep on doing that as well as I started doing the Bible recap again this year. I did it a couple years back and really enjoyed it. And so I want to continue on with that. The Bible recap, in case you don't know, is just, it's a chronological way to read the Bible throughout the year. I have it on the Bible Bible app on my phone and um, I can just click off as I'm reading for the day. You can print it out. I also have it printed out in my, I don't know if you would call this my prayer, sorry, it's got a <laughs> glare there, but I don't know if you would call it a prayer journal, a war binder, what have you. You can also print the plan out that way and read that way. So I'll go back and forth. Sometimes I'll read it on my phone and then sometimes I will read it um, in the actual paper Bible that I have. So either way, you're reading in it daily and then there is also a podcast that you can listen to and kind of get a summary of what we've read and dive into it a little bit more. And so that's a nice option to have as well. I don't always listen to the podcast. I don't always get a chance to do it, but it's, I, I try to do it on the days, especially when I kind of feel like I didn't hear maybe what was being said to me or I, um, feel like it was just a tougher passage, I will try to for sure those days go in and listen to it and it really helps. I will link that website down below as well and it will link to all the things. So the podcast, she also has a journal I believe, she has a printed book where you can have the Bible readings like 
already book bound and in order that way. And I say she because the host of the podcast, um, and I think the creator of this, uh, of the whole Bible recap is Tara Lee Cobble. And so that's where that reference is coming from. But I want to keep up with both my Bible study, um, fellowship study, and then the Bible recap as well. And that's it. That's all that I'm going to put on for faith just to keep up with my studies and my readings. I don't have that time when I want to do it. Um, I'm just going to dive in and get it done. I have been playing with a new winter morning routine new to me. Um, I may end up sharing that later this month, but we'll see. Now for my fitness and my wellness, I'm going to touch lightly on it because again, I'm probably going to wrap up in a separate video more in depth. My how my fitness planner, my wellness planner is going. I did set up a new system to me this year. It kind of incorporates some old things that I was using and some newer things. So I will link that video for you up in the cards if you want to catch up and watch that. But I had set out to do maintenance macros and be sure that I was working out at least strength training three times a week in the other two days, just trying to move my body. I, for the month of January, have, I don't want to say failed miserably, but I want to say failed miserably. So I did not do nearly as well as I wanted to. In all honesty, I hit this week and it just kind of plummeted from there. I mentally was struggling a little bit and it was just tough days. I was having a hard time um, with the darkness being earlier and just letting too many outside things in take up time in my head and just, yeah, just too much. And so it affected what I was eating, how much I was eating. And then I went on this where I kick in and I'm like, well, I need to restrict. And then I've restricted my eating too much. And then of course I want to eat more the next day. And it's just this bad cycle that I put myself in sometimes. And that's what happened for the month of January. So I wanted to be completely honest and say, you know what? I didn't, I didn't follow through as well as I wanted to for the month of January. At the time of filming, this is the last week of January. It's kind of when I review how I've done and then set up my February goals or the following month's goals. So this week I am looking at how to, what went wrong, what I did that was kind of right and how I can go forward in a better way. What, what could I tweak and change and, and make better for me? So that's what we're doing right now. So I hope, I hope that January isn't a whole complete wash. I'm not gonna, I just realized that I was way off track and I decided to jump back on. And so that's all we can keep doing, right? So that's what we're going to do for February is to make sure that I am actually tracking the macros at maintenance, um, at my maintenance level, and then making sure that I meal plan and prep some dishes for me. I find that that is really the key for me to sticking to my macros. So when I am I need to just kind of figure it out the day of it is a lot tougher especially because I'm still feeding my family and some days I'm not going to eat exactly the things they eat you absolutely can when you follow macros you absolutely can eat whatever your family's eating and that's one of the great things about it but sometimes my kids are having like a super quick lunch and they want chicken nuggets and that I don't want to fit into my macros because I'd rather have something lighter so that I can have something heavier for dinner or whatever the case may be. A lot of times my kids, um, it's, it's usually the quick, easy lunches that kind of derail me. So the, the chicken nuggets, the mac and cheese, those days when we're having those that we eat a little bit differently. So that's why I think it would be best for me to have a few things prepped and at least have a plan out. So that's going to be my focus for February is getting the macros back on track. And I feel like hopefully the rest will kind of fall into place too. Now, as far as my wellness for mental health, one thing that I do want to focus on as well is getting some outside time. So I have noticed that when it is cold, it is really hard for me. And again, when it's too hot, it's really hard for me. Like, I just want this perfect weather all the time and it's not doable. So I better just learn to love the weather that we're in now. So with that, I want to make sure that I'm getting some outside time. So I'm going to start tracking how my outside time is going. If I'm going and at least sitting out, what I've been doing is um, if the sun is out in the morning and it's not too biting cold, because sometimes the sun here can be a little deceiving. It's out, but it is like this biting cold and it, it's just not nice. So 
I try to bundle up and um, sit outside and just get some sun, especially if I can get that morning sun, that's fantastic, but sometimes it's not peaking out then. So whenever the sun is out, kids have started seeing that when the sun's out, mom's like, oh, I gotta go sit on the porch. Who wants to sit with me? Or who wants to go sit in the sun and be outside for a little bit? So I really wanna concentrate on that and get out even um, the days when there is no sun because there are some days when it's just cloudy or, um, yeah, it's snow and dark. And so <laughs> I want to make sure that we're at least getting some outside time out, out, some outside time outside, some outdoor times. Maybe that's what I want to say. Anyways, you get the gist. So I want to make sure that we're doing that. The fresh air is really good. And I usually feel a lot better when I get those moments. So that's going to be tucked in to my fitness and wellness plan or goals, intentions for this month. Now for my finances. Oh, every month I feel like I say this, that we need to get a handle on our grocery bill. And I'm sure that so many other people feel this way. For us, I try to meal plan for the month and then do monthly meal, pl meal plan shopping. I meal plan for the month. And then I try to grocery shop from for that meal plan. So monthly grocery shopping. There we go. If you are part of the little family here with us, then you've probably seen some of those videos. Um, I try to share when I can. I'm pretty good about getting the groceries, the monthly groceries up. Not so great about always sharing our monthly meal plan, but I'm working on it. So for this month, I still need to sit down and do out our monthly meal plan, but then I want to kind of make this little challenge, I guess, for us to not grocery shop on the weekends. Now we will have one exception to that because we do have a birthday this month. And so we may um, want to go out and get something special or something like that. And so that will be the only exception I think that we have unless my husband, actually no, I was gonna say, unless my husband wants to do something special for Valentine's Day, but there's no reason that we can't plan that now. So that will be my one exception. Come back, um, here's the reminder to do all the clicking, like, subscribe, all the things, so notifications so you don't miss and see if we stuck with that. I think what I'll try to do is, um, make it a little game for us and see so we can get the whole family on board and see if we can get through the month of February not going to the grocery store multiple times. January, like I said, is a wash. Um, we didn't hit it. We went over our grocery budget and uh, it was just, we had good intentions. It just didn't come through. So it's okay. I like monthly restarts. Let's, let's restart for February. So for finances, we're going to try to actually stick with the grocery budget this month. Now the other areas is just my content creating and homeschool. For my content creating, I did not do so well. I know I missed a couple of videos putting them out. I usually, I have been putting out videos four times a week, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, I, I'm playing around with limiting that because it is kind of a lot and I'm, I, you know, like in January, I didn't hit all those days. And so I just can't, I haven't figured out yet if I want to cut it down to just three days a week and which days of the week that I want to do that, but we'll see. I may end up slimming it down for now. I just want to put a goal for myself to kind of pre-plan and have ideas for the month. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to get that done. I just, I wasn't very organized in the month of January with how I do the content creating. I have like different lists and things like that and how I track it. Let me know if you want me to see the kind of system that I'm working on now and I'll share that with you. But for February, I'd like to get back to a better organized system. And I think that I want to see if I can figure out more days, like consistency with my days. So if I can say this day and this day are filming days and make that carve that into our, our routines and our rhythms. And then like these days and these days are when I'm editing so that it has more of a rhythm and it runs more smoothly instead of just trying to capture moments and minutes whenever I can and feeling upset when I'm getting interrupted or I can't finish a project. So I've got to figure out a better routine. So I'm going to play around with that this month and see if we can come up with something that works. And then the last area is our homeschool. For homeschool, I just want to continue on with organizing. I have started getting the house finally unpacked and organized a little 
it has been the slowest move like really it has just been a tough one and I was joking with my husband and I was like you know I'll finally have this place completely organized and unpacked when it's time for us to move again so <laughs> Here's to hoping we can do it a little bit sooner, but I'd like to, for the month of February, concentrate on getting um, some more homeschool spaces organized and cleaned up for us. So it is getting better. I did just finish um, resetting our homeschool boxes and things like that. Again, if you missed that, I'll link it for you if you want to see it. So for February, I just want to continue on this organization kick that I was bitten with and um, just continue cleaning up and getting new rhythms set into place. And that is it for the month of February. That's what we're touching goals down on. I did um, set up my planner. For my planner here, my carry-all, I set up this space here. And so I'm gonna jot these goals down there so that I have that kind of, as I pick it up and looking at it weekly, I can put it there. And then in the weeks, I'll break it down even further. But planner videos are usually on Sunday. So I'm not sure if this one will come up before or after if it's after when I set up my February, I'll link that for you too. If not, I'm just pointing up for fun, I guess. That's my kiddos. They need me. That's all for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you don't know or you just need to be reminded, you be the one to tell you you are deeply and truly loved. So, so appreciated. I appreciate you hanging out here with me. I gotta run. Thanks for watching.